Hopefully the lighting is good in here. Um, we're back with another, uh, figured I'd bring y'all another video of the TL that I'm like lifting and making like a rally car. You know, by looking at this thing, it's already got a pretty good amount of uh, suspension, but I didn't really even notice it at first. But uh, I know it's really hard to tell in the video, but there's like, like an extreme gap between the wheel and the fenders and the quarters. But I'm still going to lift it because, you know, when we put bigger tires on it, it's going to be a lot closer to that fender or whatever. But today, <clears throat> I don't know if I, I think I showed you this. I think I have a video of this. I'm not totally sure. But if I don't, I put the headlights in it. And uh, I do remember putting the video where we pulled the course board out and all that. But there's the headlights. They look really good in there. And, uh, yeah. And they're HID, so that's cool, too. They're uh, super bright. But, yeah, changing the oil today have an oil, oil filter and we're gonna check out the oil inside of it it looked kind of brown when i checked it before hopefully it don't have like a blowed head gasket or nothing like that i don't think it does because it usually smokes and you know it runs pretty rough with a blowed head gasket so maybe we got lucky and it doesn't have a blowed head gasket but we'll find out we're gonna i'm gonna jack it up drain the oil and go from there. Well, I've drained the oil. 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 Oh, yeah. Oil. Oil. <laughs> and. Ah, oh, just brown. But it's not that bad. Hey, plug that shit back up, bro. What are you talking about? Can't see shit. You know what? You can't see that. Oh, what? my God. There you go. <laughs> I wish this light would come on. It did at one time. So, we uh, changed the oil. And it is pretty brown. I ain't gonna lie. It is pretty, pretty solid brown there. <clears throat> but I think it's gonna be okay. It's not as bad as we thought it was going to be. Because the way we seen it in there, because I was looking down in the, the um, oil cap. We took the cap off and we was looking. We was looking at this oil hole. I don't know what to call it. It's an oil hole inside the head right here. This little be hole where you put the oil in. Okay, I was looking in there, and uh, I seen that, <laughs> so I shut the car off. So, uh, or me and Dylan seen that, so I shut the car off, and we like, ah, oh, man, it's going to be a blowed head gasket, but it's not as bad as we thought it was going to be. It is pretty brown, but like I said, this car sat with no hood for a while, and I know it's no excuse, but I believe it might have, <sighs> I believe it might have sat with the oil cap off at one point and it didn't have a lot of oil in it you know that's not a lot of oil at all it's probably a quart and a half so it's definitely not that much there's like a gallon there so what i'm gonna do is uh he's coming back dylan's coming back here with some oil pliers oil filter pliers i'm gonna take the oil filter off because i can't get it off my hands but meanwhile, I'll show you an updated thing on the other cars. So yeah, this is my Civic. 
Still in the same spot. <laughs> Still the same. Everything. I haven't touched it at all, really. I really need to. This is the Focus that me and Dylan and Austin took out the other day. And it's pretty covered in mud. Hey, Dylan. What did you think of the Focus? I think it's slow. <laughs> but it was fun. It was fun. Slow and fun. Like a this, turtle. This video will be out after the video that we jumped this and took it to Stoney. Right oh, yeah, I know. It's got a pretty good... <laughs> Pretty badass motor mount in there. But yeah, we took it to Stony and it was really wet and it is very muddy. Holy crap, it looks worse in the video. $10 ignition cool is hanging in there. Get that. Oh, yeah, I know. That's super good. So <laughs> we had our fun. Um, I'm buying a, yeah, I know. I'm buying a radiator tomorrow. <clears throat> Because I uh, busted the radiator, I jumped it several times, and Dylan jumped it several times. <laughs> so I jumped it and busted the radiator. So we drove up, put some water in it, and I let, and Dylan come through and sent it to, and it just made it worse. And then we was like, oh man, we need to get this home. We didn't really think about it. So we put some water in it and drove it home, and it didn't overheat at all. <laughs> I don't know why. We didn't overheat at all. We pulled up here. It's pretty much out of water or antifreeze. And so, yeah, we got it home though. Now I'm gonna replace, I'm buying a radiator tomorrow and we're gonna replace the radiator and do some modifying. We're gonna bring the radiator up a little bit and go from there. Oh, I still got to put on. I don't like it used any. <laughs> Wonder where all the old went though. Oh. Never been in it always. I don't know. It was like dead oh, empty. Uh, if y'all seen my previous video of when we got the, this car, it was like dead empty on oil. So didn't use any. And we drove it like around. We've been driving around the yard for like the past couple of days. We drove it to Stony. No, it's pretty far. It's not pretty far. It's like a couple miles. But we drove it there and back and didn't use any oil. So I don't know. Maybe it's just low on oil. But now we know that it can handle some sort of abuse. We're going to do a lot more of this thing. So we're going to do the, the radio. We've got a couple ideas. Dylan's want to cut a hole in the hood and so bring... This, this radio has a really down here. Yeah. Just bring it up. Dylan's kind of wanting to cut a hole in the hood, bring the radio up, and let it come out the hood a little bit. That's a possible scenario. The other scenario would be to have no hood, put the fenders back on. That way we don't have all this. Because the windshield wipers start working for some reason. Tearing into it, like a go kind of thing. Yeah, we literally built this in, what, two hours? Literally. I mean, we thought up the idea. We, went, we had like two or three days. I know. We just thought up the idea and threw it together. But we got it done, and it worked very well. It actually worked very well. And it drove pretty smooth, too. Like, all the way to Stony and back, it drove pretty smooth. And even after we jumped it. Figure we'd bend something, but we didn't. So that's pretty cool. Put something break, bend a tire rod, something. Yeah, but we didn't. Nothing happened. And we were like, we were jumping it too. It wasn't just like a. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. No, the other side had a pretty good spot in it. Oh yeah! Oh goodness! Oh yeah! All right, so uh, we got the oil change. We crank it up. It runs pretty good, I guess. Now we're gonna get that little piece, stick it on, see if that'll fix the idle. So we'll see ya. A uh, quick video for you guys. We, after I did the oil change and we ran it for a little bit to make sure everything was good before we actually drove it, um, we still hadn't changed that idle control valve or idle control thing. Can't remember the actual name of it, but 
Uh, I ordered one, like I said, it came in and I changed it and it runs perfect now. The idle, idle, it doesn't run perfect, it idles good now. We drove it down the road, still has some, uh, so they got a warped rim or a bad tire, not too sure exactly just yet. Uh, we know the axles are good, we, st we set it up, <laughs> we set it up and put it in drive and let the wheels roll, but both of them are like wobbling, so <laughs> I don't know if the if both wheels are warped or one's just really bad warped, but we're, we're gonna go with like a, we're gonna ch change two front tires, we have two front tires here, and I think we're gonna swap those out first just to make sure it's not just the tires, and then we'll go to wheels after that. So there's a little bit of an update on that thing, and I wanted to throw this in at the last bit of the video because I didn't get to actually film the test drive because it was like 12 o'clock at night, so because the part came in we put it on and went and test drove it and stuff like that but we drove it pretty far like both ways too went down this way towards stony and we went back to like uh the gas station like at the four way so it looked like it drove pretty good not bad at all but yeah runs really good uh we did find an oil leak and it's looking pretty good actually but i didn't get to check it today to see how much oil it actually leaked so i have to do that tomorrow but we did find an oil leak it's like above the you know where the oil filter is sort of like right, right around the uh control arm it's like above that somewhere above the oil filter it's not the oil filter i don't think i didn't see any oil around it but could be just uh could be above there somewhere not totally sure but anyway like i said it runs pretty good so we'll uh next video will be us just i don't know exactly what we're gonna do <laughs> but uh, uh we have a couple ideas of how to lift it and uh and we're still looking and researching because nobody's lifted an acura to before so we're still uh, researching it ourselves and coming up with ideas and m we might just build something to lift it ourselves instead of buying a lift kit and it might not work so uh we're still looking into that but yeah, all in all, I think uh, I think that's all I needed to tell you guys. The battery is junk. It doesn't crank. <laughs> Gonna have to put a new battery in it. I tried to charge it, but it won't hold a charge. I think it's kind of like a dead cell or something. I think that's it. So next video will be just us rambling on of the ideas. Well, not rambling. We'll be coming up with ideas of how to lift it because we thought about doing it ourselves and then we thought about buying a lift kit so i don't know but we're going to look into it and think we're thinking about moving the radiator up because we all know the problems i have with radiators <laughs> yeah so like comment subscribe if you want to keep up with this build just if you want to keep up with this build subscribe to the channel we'll be updating videos weekly on this at least one video one week one video a week it was my cats uh one video a week so at least one video a week on this may do two if something crazy happens like we do do a lift and we get tires in the same week we'll probably do two videos but, but yeah i'm gonna get to finish editing this video like i said if you want to keep up with this build uh subscribe we also got other stuff going on like the ford focus we we put big tires on it they're gonna home make do a homemade lift on it so with some metal and stuff all that sort of stuff so yeah if you want to keep up with that build subscribe thank you to all the subscribers we are going to do a video this week on the, the subscribers because subscribers shot up pretty far pretty high i think we're at around 2045 as of right now we're at 2045 subscribers uh we are going to address that because we haven't addressed it yet and then uh we got some other things like we're going to uh do some thank yous to some people uh, i didn't want to bombard the the because we've made a lot of videos on this car that coleman auto rebuilders bought us and didn't want to bombard him with like you know every on every video uh on that car so uh we are we're doing just one big video where we go through our sponsor on that car and uh this and addressing the subscribers and stuff so th stay tuned to that but if you thank you for subscribing if you are subscribed and I uh, hope you do stay subscribed and uh, 
hope you are liking the videos because we're coming out with like three videos a week so yeah i think that's all i got <laughs> thanks peace